love cookies, but like any sweet treat, it's hard to eat just one. Hi, I'm Liz Weiss, and for my chocolate chip cooking makeover, I turn to wholesome ingredients like oats, nuts, and dried cranberries, so you can feel A-OK -okay about adding these to your cookie jar. Here's how you make them. We're gonna begin with oats. I've got two cups of quick cooking oats. Now to that, we'll add three quarters of a cup of pecans. Now I chop these up, kind of like a rough chop, but if you have little kids at home, you might wanna finely chop those nuts. Kids like things just a little smoother. We've got half a cup of all-purpose flour, and I have also half a cup of whole wheat flour. I'm using whole wheat pastry flour. It's a little more tender, then whole wheat flour, but either one is fine. And then a quarter cup of wheat germ. Wheat germ is rich in vitamin E. I love to keep this in my refrigerator. That's where I store it. And then I have a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. So all you do is whisk these dry ingredients together. And that takes just a minute or so. If you have kids at home, they can certainly help you do this. Any nut would be fine too. You can use walnuts, you can use almonds. Once those dry ingredients are incorporated, move on to your liquid ingredients. I've got two large eggs and I'm gonna add one cup of brown sugar and a little bit of oil. I've got half a cup of canola oil. A lot of cookies call for butter. That's where we start to get into trouble when we add stick after stick of butter. And then I've got a teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. And then just go ahead and whisk all of those ingredients together. So once your liquid ingredients are all combined, then you wanna add these to your dry ingredients. And then we'll add our liquid ingredients to our dry ingredients. So go ahead and stir your liquid ingredients into your dry ingredients until just moistened. So this is combined and now, getting some good exercise, I've got a few more things to add. This is half a cup of dried cranberries. I love adding dried fruit to cookies because it's fruit and if it's dried fruit, it still counts as a fruit. You can use other dried fruits like dried cherries. You can chop up apricots, do dried apricots. And then we've got some mini chocolate chips, just a third cup of the semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. So I preheated the oven to 375 and then I lined two large baking sheets with aluminum foil and then just sprayed them with nonstick cooking spray. So here's the fun part. We're going to make our cookies and I'm using about a rounded tablespoon's worth of batter for each cookie. This is such a healthy batter and I cannot even believe how easy it is to assemble. So I always keep a damp or a wet paper towel at the ready and just kind of wipe the heel of my hand and moisten it a little bit and that makes it easier to flatten out the batter. Now some people like perfectly round cookies. You can kind of play around and make them perfect or you can keep them a little more free form. Keep about one inch in between each cookie because they're gonna expand a little bit as they bake. And then just bake these for 12 to 14 minutes until the bottoms turn golden. Traditional chocolate chip cookies taste great, but they don't have a lot going for them health-wise. My whole grain version amps up the good nutrition by doubling the fiber and protein. Break out the milk because it's gonna be hard to stop at just one of these cookies. Mmm, that is so delicious. For Meal Makeovers, I'm Liz Weiss.